from Bethesda, Maryland. Thank you for hosting this wonderful educational and fun weekend. Well, we thanks for coming, it. Martin. Yeah. Um, in this year's annual report, uh, you defended Berkshire's tax payment record against criticism from certain newspaper columnists and Assistant Secretary Pamela Olson. Compared to other large corporations, particularly insurance companies, does Berkshire pay its fair share so we can wear our Berkshire active wear with the American flag on it with pride? <laughs> Incidentally, I, I, Pamela Olson is here today. I don't know whether she can stand up, but uh, I owe her an apology. She, uh, she's done a great job as a public servant. I, I, I teased her a little bit in the annual report, but she actually has worked actively and, and at the Treasury in cracking down on tax shelters and, and uh, uh, some things that Charlie and I think shouldn't exist. So Pamela has my admiration, and like I say, if she's here and can stand up, we'll, we'll give her a hand. Uh, uh, <clears throat> some of the tax shelter proposals, I, I, I met with her yesterday, and, and she told me of some, uh, some things that I'd sort of seen myself. But, some of the things that have been done and uh, and in some cases sponsored by the most prominent auditing firms you know are absolutely disgusting and uh, are the reason why uh, in my view at least the middle class probably plays a lot more than they should be in, in terms of raising the total uh, funds that are needed to sustain the government uh, Berkshire as we noted in the report is uh, is a heavy contributor to the Treasury, as I mentioned. If only 540 entities in the in the country paid what we pay in income tax, no one else would have to pay anything. No Social Security, no nothing. Uh, we have not. I mean, we 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 may own tax exempt bonds. We own dividends, which receive a dividend receive credit. Uh, but we we pay on a very, very high percentage of our income, including capital gains, we pay at the full 34% corporate rate. So uh, go out and buy the uh, Fruit of the Loom underwear with the flag on it. You're entitled to wear it. <laughs> Charlie? I've got nothing to add, but you understate the evil that crept into our leading accounts, uh, accounting firms when they started selling these fraudulent tax shelters in exchange for contingent fees, one of them actually explained to me that they were an ethical f seller of fraudulent tax shelters. He said, <laughs> he said, the other firms just sold these to anybody, and we just sold them to our 20 most important clients so they were more likely to stay secret. Yeah, and of course the, 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 the lawyers would write the opinion so that if they did get caught with these things that they hoped that no one even picked up because they were so obscure or convoluted, the lawyers wrote the opinion so that that the uh, they could walk, you know, when the IRS came around, they could wave that letter and, and, and say, well, gee, we're sorry we made a mistake, but we did it on the vice of counsel, and therefore you shouldn't assess fraud penalties or anything. I mean, they're, they're, we, we don't want to leave the lawyers out of this, Charlie. <laughs> The, uh, we, we had people come to our office, not, not, our, not, not the auditing firm that we use, I want to make that clear, but we had people come to our office from the top auditing firms with these propositions which they said we had to sign away a given percentage of the amount we saved and then they would give us these, these proprietary methods where, you know, which would usually involve about 20 offshore trusts and partnerships around the world and 